Is it? So then I says, fine, I'll pay you back for all of it, with interest. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. I'll lock up, please. Thank you. Pissing in the alleyways as bad as it seems. My dry goods come 75% guaranteed mold free. Or was that 75% mold free? Hmm. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Not so fast. The biometric IDs are special goods, only on offer to special clients. You cotton? Uh, uh, what do you know? You're on it. <laughs> My mistake, customer. Give me a jiffy to break. I, I mean, calibrate the ID. This goes like that. Nope, not quite right. A bit to the left, mayhaps. That'll do it. For a CMP factory line worker, she sure is a beauty. Careful. I'm trusting you to guard this specialty good with your life. I mean it. Lose the ID and you don't get another. Also, you'll be off my list of unwholesome customers. Will that be all, or do you require something to say, scratch your itch? Part of the new line shift. Don't tell me you lost your key card already. A lost card's worth two infractions, you know. Nope, that's all right. I know what their messages tend to entail. Good to see you. Information not found. Identify yourself. Error. This unit is not experiencing errors. Error. This unit is functioning correctly. There is no need for the intervention of mechanical engineers. Thank you for your cooperation. What do you figure you're doing up here? These are my private quarters, friend. I don't allow tours up here. I don't allow tours ever on deeper consideration. Certain things require a mess to do well. See, I was just killing some time. I prefer to prepare my dinner by my own hand. Nothing like fresh and bloody borstwurst. I do own a factory known for specializing in the canning of borstwurst. 
On occasion, I like to imbibe other parts of the Sisty Pig. Did you fancy me a cannibal? Perish the thought. No, I don't eat the bodies, I disappear. A joke, that last was. So, what can I do for you? My full attention is at your disposal. I kind of liked it when his attention was elsewhere. While I approve of your associate's cautious nature, I still teeter on the verge of losing my patience. Let us move forward with the present proceedings. By sublight, you mean Catherine, do you not? That greedy, star-crossed sow. Listen, friend. The Borst King of Monarch does not negotiate with coveters. How about you bring me Catherine's severed head, and I will gift you a lifetime supply of Borst. You desire that I should lower myself to Catherine's level of crassness and filth? I cannot fathom how that would cotton myself. The king built this golden monopoly brick by brick from the rubble when the corpse abandoned Monarch. No, he ain't the sort to partner up, as that requires the sharing of power and profits. You think to blackmail me? Try it. The king will grind you to bone spurs and toenails. For true, you figure she will appreciate my skills? They did take me years to perfect. However, I remain unconvinced she could provide the means to make the association worth my while. If you ain't noticed, I'm doing swell ruling this kingdom on my own. Ah, but Catherine would admire a man of my inclinations and skill. That is what you imply, yes? She will supply the worship I so rightly deserve. Very well. The king is interested. John Hancock me on the dotted line, friend. I will even <clears throat> give her a cut of the profits, requiring she keeps clear of my short hairs. Do not push me. I am not one to suffer insults. Tell Catherine she is permitted to dump the bodies each and every Tuesday, precisely at 3 a.m. You seen Arthur today? Now there's a woman who knows what she wants. I like her. 
She's about as welcoming as a wrench to the face. And half as tender. How's Clive? I do hope you gave him my regards. Oh, this ought to be good. What does he mean to offer in exchange for his no-account life? True enough, I got bodies piling up, drawing attention where they ought not to be. But if I take the factory, I don't need Clive to dispense of my messes. Can appoint someone to handle it myself. Point taken. Good help is hard to come by. Plus, Clive doesn't seem the type to upchuck his boards during dismemberment. Still, you're asking me to walk away from easy money. So we're a lot of things in life, and your point is? All right, color me convinced. Reckon I owe you a finder's fee. Don't spend it all in one place, unless it's here. I take it you don't have a reservation. No matter, I keep a suite of VIP rooms for visitors of your, let's call it a certain means. The VIP rooms charge by the night, but for you, I'll make it a one-time fee. Got a feeling you'll make me a fine investment. Marvelous. Do take care of the place. Maid service won't clean after a murder. Catherine Malin could sour milk just by glaring at it. have a drink with her, though I'd keep one hand on my gun and the other on my bit cartridge. you docked three days ago? Give or take, it's all too easy when I think back on it. Hey, I know you. Boss says you've been real helpful, like. But, uh, we got this handled. We appreciate, but do not require your assistance. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. Huh. I don't know what your angle is, but... All right. Be sure to tell her how hard it was to fix the generator. You know, after you're done fixing it.
quiet. What are you up to out there? Hello? You can't be serious. Who are you anyway? Awesome. Finally. Tell Graham that this is the last run I'm doing. Sanjar has declared a stop sale to you lot, but even if he hadn't, I'm not risking my neck anymore. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and what's-its, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure. But I respect the iconoclasts for doing it. Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. Infamous Amber Heights. Something about this place makes me feel sane by comparison. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? That is most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanjar, old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. Might I ask why? Ah, Hiram, old friend. I must admit, I feel guilty for crippling his enterprise. He too works against the corporations. So be it. If we can bring the printing press to its full functionality, then I'll have no use for that rust bucket of a radio tower. The print... Oh, no. Graham, you didn't. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Van Noys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. You're lucky they don't have airlocks on Monarch, or someone would have helped you into one by now. I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. 
Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. Yes, you're damn right he could have, but he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... If the Vernois are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. I always wanted to visit Stellar Bay. Taking the sights, the sounds, the... <laughs> Don't mess with the best! Not a moment too soon. Hope you're here to help. We only got so many bullets left and I ain't keen on using one on you. Thank the Eternal. We could use a hand. But... We can't leave without patching these guys up. Acker here is bleeding out and Jensen can't see straight. Our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. My professional medical advice is to get out of here as soon as possible. Bleeding might kill him, but rats definitely will. How many years of medical school went into that word of wisdom? Sorry, sorry. We appreciate the assist. We just need to find our medics so we can do exactly as you say. Get the hell out. Yeah, on account of giving him the order. He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press. Messes with you, boy.
Any luck out there? Oh, fuck. Well, that's better than nothing. Thanks. We'll head out as soon as we're patched up. Can't keep us out. So, you're, uh, you're really running around with us now, huh? Sure am. I'm a part of the crew now. Got my own bunk and everything. You know, Felix, now that you're a real pirate, I should induct you into the pirate's code of silence. Ooh, the code of silence! What's that? It means you agree not to talk for a very long time.
If you'll just listen... No! No more listening! No more preaching! We are losing people left and right! We need to act! Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? We're out of time. We need food and ammunition. We need to hit Stellar Bay while we still have the manpower to do it. Yes, I know it's drastic, but it's clear that Sanjar will never cooperate. And if it's him or us, I choose us. Doubtful, but we don't need much, and Sanjar isn't going to share. It is. We are desperate. We're starving. My people are dying left and right. Excellent. Did you find the Van Oys? Thank the Eternal. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. This plan's brilliance is in its subtlety. For the time being, let us cease our activities on the tower, lest we bring premature attention upon us. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Hey, I need to see to the wounded, but drop by the clinic when you can. I want a word. Hey. Ah, hello. You're... still alive. Nice day, huh? It's a monarch, anyway. Hey, Captain. I need your help, and we ought to keep it hush-hush. You know about what happened here, right? The history of Amber Heights? Famous pirate raid, right? A little messy for my tastes, but those guys were in and out like pros. Right. Common belief is that the pirates fled to an old relay station that had already been abandoned, but nobody could find them. The station's locked up, but one of my people found an old data cartridge in a nearby wrapped nest. It's mostly corrupted, but I pulled a couple codes off of it. One is the code to the Amber Heights gate. I don't recognize the other, but it's similar. I bet it opens a door. I surely do, but it's not far. And if they died in there, they died with their munitions. We'll need them. Besides, if it's filled with valuables from the aristocrats who lived here, we can pawn them off on sublight and get ourselves ahead on our food budget. Graham isn't fond of talking about the history here. He had friends who worked here. The massacre hit him pretty hard. You know him. Live and let live and all that. I don't want to burden him right now, especially if this ends up being a dead end. Just a warning. The area is infested with mantisaurs. I'd send some help, but we're, you know, preparing for war. I appreciate it. Here's the code. If it works, bring back anything you find. Supplies are best, but information's good too. If someone was behind the Amber Heights massacre, it give a lot of people around here some closure to find out who and string them up. Good luck. Watch out for the taros.
Hey, Yelly, you want to know what I think? I think they ought to make a serial about our crew. Only, we have all these secret messages in every episode, see? What happened to the Code of Silence, Felix? Hey, why do you always do that thing with your eyes whenever I talk to you? You on the alert, maybe? Looking out for hidden enemies? Let's just say you remind me of someone. I bet they were real pretty. If you're living up in a tower on a place called Devil's Peak, you might be some type of serial villain. This Fun! How'd you get up here? Through the caves? Good answer. I wasn't looking forward to gut-shotting you. See, the thing is, I'm with the corporate compliance crew. C3, if you will. We're mercs, and our current contract mandates that we annihilate any creatures or persons that emerge from the tunnel. Allow me to intervene. It's my job to mediate any conflicts of interest regarding C3 and third parties. All right, first things first. To make a decision in this dispute, I'm going to need to know what your role in your organization is. A lean but efficient corporate structure. I'm impressed. Still, I gotta wonder. What are your intentions regarding Devil's Peak Station? That is why you've wandered out here, I presume? Well... That's a pickle. See, I don't recollect that our contract specifies what to do in the case of a third party fulfilling our obligations. Shucks, Lance. Why give the client the details? All that matters is that the work's been done. Seems to me, we can close up, cash out, and move on. <laughs> I do love when you think outside the box, Don. Fair enough. I'll sign the clearance form and issue our external contractor here an NDA. Anything else you need? Trying to say we didn't do our job? I'll have you know our contract was to stop any marauders coming from the caves. Didn't say nothing about the ones taking the mountain path. We'll simply clear them out later, once we've got the go-ahead from Berthold. I'm going. Coming your way. Dance. Get on. Uh, 
Got nimble fingers, Captain. You ever watch Agent Khan? He's got this ship, right? The Invincible? And we got a ship, right? So I got to thinking, who'd win in a race? The Invincible or the Unreliable? Felix, you watch too many movies. Hey, you sound just like Nioka. Adventure serials are my education. Where else am I supposed to learn how to kick a jackass in the chest? And that's what being a pirate's all about, right? Hate to tell you, but a lot of the job is waiting for a gig, then waiting to get paid. Welcome back. You find anything out there? Let's see. These are old. Looks like correspondences between the pirates. Some bits here, some there, some... Wait. This... This one's got the Amber Heights gate code on it. Just like the one I found earlier. And here's... A letter. Wait, this is from Graham. Oh, of all the... Captain, he gave them the gate codes. Yeah, he did. He really did. I know he's got his head in the clouds, but I always believed there was a core of good there. What the hell happened to live and let live? I always figured Mr. Bryant for a man of character. In the end, though... It was just another name on a long list of frauds. Yeah. He had us all fooled. Now I've got to sort out how to break it to the rest of my people. Thank you for bringing this back, but I need some time. I gotta think. I'll let you know if I figure something out. I can't believe I wanted to shake his hand. I need a shower. It makes you wonder if being a treacherous, two-timing coward is some sort of contagious disease, or if he was just born that way. At first, I liked what Graham was doing. The iconoclasts were going to change Halcyon for the better. But then, we found out Graham was behind the slaughter of Amber Heights. How can anybody so morally bankrupt lead a movement to transform the colony? That's putting it kindly, boss. Graham's worse than trash. He's a traitor. You'd never do something like that, would you? Slaughter a whole community of innocents? Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's get back to it. I need to put all this ugly business with Graham behind me. Something on your mind? Go take a walk, Captain. I'll find you once my head's on straight.
If this place was abandoned, how come it still smells like sweetener and despair? Proximity alert. Biology human. Protocol kill all plants. Suspended. Present your Rizzo identification credentials or prepare to be downsized. Attempting to disengage security protocols without proper authorization is a fireable offense. Priming weapons. You don't want to shoot us. We're, um... We're from the board. Real distinguished corporate jackasses we are. Yeah. Mediocre verbal evasion detected. Threat level downgraded to negligible. Weapons disengaged. Pity? Nah, that was pure terror. Be advised. Mantasaur threat level is petrifying purple berry. Please use caution. Mantasaur wounds are not covered under Rizzo's health policy. Have a productive day. Watch those traps. Field stitches aren't exactly pretty. if no one sees. That should do it. Just gotta siphon off the Alta Vitae.
Nice going, boss. Looks like it's working. Hey, I remember Cascadia from that one episode of Terror on Monarch. Crawling with monsters, it was. You take us to the nicest places, Captain. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Our fuel cells are now primed with Alta Vitae gas. As the organics say, let us hope we do not explode in transit to the Groundbreaker. Destination reached, the Groundbreaker. Please avoid death. Sublight's always got plenty of work. Good gig if you don't mind where the bits come from. That gas is going to make us a fucking mint. 
A hundred twenty-some cubic meters of it, at a million bits a pop. Take this, you've earned it. When we get buyers lined up, I'm gonna buy a gold toilet to shit in. You know what? Fuck it. Enjoy yourself. I invest in the happiness of my workers, and you deserve a bigger cut. Monarch isn't exactly a walk down the lanes of Byzantium. But here you are with all your limbs attached. Call me impressed, contractor. I guess you're just one of the lucky ones. Look on the bright side. You just started and you're already on the path to a promotion. You've been keeping busy. I hear you took on some extra work at Fallbrook. Catherine doesn't always play nice with others. But it sounds like she and Clive reached some kind of understanding. Hey, when you were at the slaughterhouse, those swine didn't give you any... strange looks, did they? I knew it. I'm probably getting worked up over nothing. Just try not to think about pigs. You never know, you know? I've got a lot on my mind, but... It's nothing that concerns you. At least, not yet. I have another job lined up, assuming you're still interested in work. They're gonna salvage me a space station. Heliospheric Research Station 1084, to be exact. I want it. Cobwebs and all. Interested? We're gonna take over a whole space station? This is gonna be great! Oh, do we get to stick a flag in the ground? This opportunity won't come around again, Captain. Here, this override bypass should get you into the station systems where you can plant my flag. And one last thing. When you get there, make sure you aren't followed. We wouldn't want that. Both. Neither. Right now, it's safer if I keep you in the dark. I'm on the heels of something big. Play your cards right and I'll clue you in, but right now... I'm not sure who I can trust. Just be careful. Someone might try and use you to get to me. If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? I don't know that you should be listening to those serials with Felix. They're gonna give you funny ideas about human mechanical relationships that I, I won't explain. Come to see Sam? That was sweet of ya. Here, I was just leaving. We've reached HRS-1084, Captain. It's emitting a very weak docking signal. I almost mislabeled it as normal etheric static. 